The intellectual life in New France can be characterized as having been dominated by the interests and pursuits of Catholic clergy, military officers and aristocrats who dominated the political scene. Intellectual work of New France is often concerned with themes and topics relating to native peoples, Christianity, societal organization, geography, military organization and transportation. At least a significant portion of intellectual work of in New France was constructed for pragmatic reasons, often the result of exploratory expeditions or diplomatic relations. Figures such as Louis Armand de Lom d'Ars de la Hontan, Baron de la Hontan have been quintessential in the creation of the concept of the so-called noble savage in comparing aspects of Aboriginal culture and society with those of Christianity. Voyages commissioned by the government and Crown of France would often serve as the basis of material for works on geography and travel some of which have remained important volumes in the body of literature concerning North American colonial and Canadian history such as Charlevoix's Histoire et Description Générale de la Nouvelle France Notable intellectuals Jacques Cartier, an early explorer and claimant of New France known for his work, Bref Raquet. Louis Armand de Lom d'Ars de la Hontan, Baron de la Hontan, an officer in the French Marines in Canada, as well as an explorer and commentator on native society and geography. Pierre Francois Xavier de Charlevoix, a Jesuit priest, explorer, and geographer responsible for several works, including Histoire et Description Générale de la Nouvelle France. Francois Dollier de Casson, a Sulpician monk who contributed to the work, La Histoire du Montreal. Nicolas Denis, a French explorer and colonist who wrote the description géographique et historique des costas de l'Amérique septentrionale, avec l'histoire naturelle du pays. <laughs> 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 